right, guys. It is just a cold, gray, gloomy, pretty much winter day here in early October. We have made it to this depressing Sunday afternoon. I don't know, where are we? October 4th, 2020 or somewhere like that. The little dog already has his uh, Christmas outfit on here. And, October. Oh yes, and I am Sam Mitchell. This is Collapse Chronicles. And this is my little Christmas elf, Sancho Panza. So what is on the minds of the planet here today? Uh, I want to check in. I, if you do not get this newsletter, Undenial, uh, this is uh, Rob Milkarski's blog, I guess you could call it. Uh, Rob, I don't know if you are a regular listener to uh, Collapse Chronicles or not, but we do appreciate your work, and uh, so I want to check in with Rob. What is on Rob's mind on this gloomy day? He has uh, stumbled across uh, an, another book by Garrett Hardin, you know, The Tragedy of the Commons, <clears throat> Garrett Hardin. But we're going to look at another book today on Garrett Hardin's Denial and the Gift of History. This is looking at his, I believe, a 1964 book called Population, Evolution, and Birth Control, A Collage of Controversial Ideas, which is, some of it's written by uh, Garrett, but this is a, you can download the whole book here. So I'm going to put the link on here, and you can actually download, I think, this whole book. Uh, so what's going on with this, <clears throat> Rob? Three years ago, I wrote about Garrett Hardin's famous 1968 paper titled The Tragedy of the Commons. And I think there's a link to that uh, here. The gist of of the tragedy of the commons is that the collective effect of individuals making independent, well-intentioned, rational decisions regarding the use of a shared resource such as livestock pastures in the past and our entire planet today leads to the degradation of the resource such that it can no longer support the individuals that depend upon it. And it is one of the great... What is going on? Is a drone flying in? I anyway, uh, it it's one of the great microcosmic examples of what's going on on this planet, the tragedy of the commons. I was impressed with Hardin's clear and direct thinking about overpopulation, quoting uh, from Tragedy of the Commons, quoting Garrett Hardin, to couple the concept of freedom to breed, freedom to breed in a welfare state with the belief that everyone born has an equal right to the commons is to lock the world into a tragic course of action. It is a mistake to think that we can control the breeding of mankind in the long run by an appeal to conscience. <laughs> yes, in 1968, uh, you know, anyone thinking that we can, uh, any doomer down here thinking we can appeal to the conscience of breeders pointing out that breeding, bringing more humans onto the commons of the planet, uh, 
it's just so hopeless, guys. Uh, <laughs> yes, I <clears throat> I summarized Hardin's position on population control as follows. Uh, we'll we'll get to his new book eventually. <clears throat> I summarize Hardin's position on population control as follows. Number one, failure to control population growth will result in ruin, which is the, the number one, uh, is pretty much the number one conclusion of Collapse Chronicles and uh, anybody else looking at what is going on uh, with the commons, the tragedy of the commons of this planet. Failure to control population growth will result in ruin. Number two, population control via appeal to reason or conscience or threat of shame will not work and will in fact make the situation worse. Population can only be effectively controlled by coercion, that is laws with penalties for overbreeding. Number three, the key this is, uh, th this is Rob summarizing tragedy of the, uh, uh, of the commons. This is the way he is reading it. And point number three, the key to passing population control laws is to educate citizens on the reality that if they do not relinquish the freedom to breed, they will lose all of their freedoms including, eventually, the freedom to breed. <clears throat> I concluded that since Hardin wrote his paper 50 years ago, the accessible evidence for severe overshoot is overwhelming and proves that Hardin was wrong in that education alone is not sufficient to pass the necessary population uh, control laws. Um, and so I, I, I had to read that sentence a few times, and, and I think, Rob, I, I'm, I'm, I'm finding a typo uh, in what he was saying. Uh, I, I, I think what uh, Rob is saying here is that Hardin was wrong in that education alone is sufficient to pass the necessary population control laws, or in other words, uh, uh, what Rob, I think Rob, and, and if I'm misconstruing you, please let me know. So what Rob is saying, and, and I agree with, is education alone is not sufficient to pass the necessary population control laws. I asked, how can a majority emerge to support a contentious law to control breeding when the vast majority of 7.6 billion people deny human overshoot. If you deny the existence or implications of overshoot, it is logical to embrace one or more of the many arguments against population control, austerity, and conservation. On the other hand, if you embrace the reality of overshoot, which a tiny, tiny minority of people on the planet do, I'm assuming uh, if you're on a channel like Collapse Chronicles, you do embrace the reality of overshoot, uh, then population control, austerity, and conservation not only
become perfectly reasonable, they become the most important ethical, moral, and rational things we must do. There was a hint in Hardin's paper that may have understood the centrality of reality denial to our predicament. Again, quoting, uh, at some point we're going to get to uh, this other uh, book by uh, by Garrett Hardin, but obviously Rob is is, is still going to uh, deal the first half of this with the tragedy of the commons. Another quote from uh, Garrett himself, quote, natural selection favors the forces of psychological denial. The individual benefits as an individual from his ability to deny the truth even though society as a whole, of which he is a part, suffers." Close quote. Um, Hardin did not elaborate further on reality de denial, but did reference another paper he wrote titled, Denial and the Gift of History, published in a 1964 book edited by himself titled Population Evolution and Birth Control. I was, uh, so he finally got hold of the book and there's a link here where you can download the book Population Evolution and Birth Control. It appears to be an important book that will be of interest to students of human overshoot. Here is an enticing summary uh, I created. Uh, so I'm just going to read, I'm going to put the link on here, guys. Um, and I'm just going to read the first few. Uh, th these are some quotes from. Uh, from the covers of the book to uh, whet your appetite. <clears throat> Take it away, uh, Garrett Hardin. Every year, Malthus is proven wrong and is buried only to spring to life again before the year is out. If he, meaning Malthus, if Malthus is so wrong, why can't we forget him? If he is right, and he is right, uh, how does he happen to be so fertile a subject for criticism? The emerging history of population is a story of disaster and denial. Disaster foreseen, but disaster psychologically denied in our innermost being. How can one believe in something, particularly an unpleasant something, that has never happened before? With these questions, Professor Hardin introduces this unique collection of readings on what is perhaps the most important social problem besetting mankind, the population problem. There is no perhaps about it. Uh, so, getting back to Rob, <clears throat> my initial reaction was, oh my God, we're definitely not becoming wiser. Over 50 years, look how far we have, over 50 years, look how far we have fallen in public discourse and university teaching of important matters. So far, I have only studied the one essay titled Denial and the Gift of History, which I extracted in full below. So if you go on the link I'm going to put on here, you can read this entire essay by Garrett Hardin titled Denial and the Gift of History. 
Uh, a quick scan of the book suggests it contains many more essays worthy of future time and discussion. So I'm not going to read this whole uh, essay by Garrett, which you can, but let's just, here the, here's the Cliff Notes version of how Rob uh, summarized it as follows. Okay, first, summarizing what Hardin said. Number one, denial of death is a widely recognized human behavior. I re refer you to my two interviews with Dr. Sheldon Solomon. Uh, if you have not heard those two interviews I had with Sheldon Solomon earlier this year, uh, we dive into this. Denial of death <clears throat> is a widely recognized human behavior. Number two, humans have also denied unpleasant realities throughout history. Number three, due to denial's ubiquity, a biologist must conclude it is at least in part genetic. Next, denial in moderation is more advantageous to the survival of an individual than extreme denial or the absence of denial, hence denial's ubiquity in humans. Next, while, advantage, while advantageous to an individual, denial particularly denial of overshoot, of human overshoot of this planet, is a grave threat to society because the rate of change of overshoot threats is slow relative to a single lifetime and thus are easy to deny. Now, of course, that is going to change uh, with the latest generation, uh, the rate of overshoot is, is going meteoric. Uh, and, you know, it's the, the kids today are not going to be able to deny human overshoot of this planet like every other generation before them. Uh, <clears throat> the gift of history is that studying prior collapses of ecosystems and civilizations can teach us to overcome our denial of current events. So according to Rob, what did Grant Hardin get right and wrong? My interpretation of Harden on denial. Okay, Harden got a lot of it right. Number one, that denial is ubiquitous in humans. Denial is genetic. And denial of overshoot is a key threat to our species. Well, it's a, a threat to our species. It, denial of overshoot is a threat to every single species on the planet, including the species in denial of it. So what did, according to Rob, Hardin miss? Hardin missed a lot, such as denial is not an interesting oddity of human behavior, but denial is central to the emergence of behaviorally modern humans. And the second point uh, that Hardin missed, according to Rob, is the need for denial of death with an extended theory of mind drove the evolution of the more generic denial of unpleasant realities. In other words, denial of death is central. Denial of everything unpleasant is an artifact. 
And the bottom line, I'm going to read this uh, as he's already said, Harden was wrong on the solution to overshoot. <clears throat> 50 years of history has proven that knowledge and education will not overcome our genetic tendency to deny unpleasant realities like overshoot. Uh, and so that that is that 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 is the bottom line and it you know and it's one of the main reasons that you know channels such as Collapse Chronicles are so pointless and futile that uh, that a tiny tiny uh, percentage of humans on this planet have ever considered the fact uh, that it is overshoot, it is human overshoot uh, that is going to destroy the planet and uh, make us extinct like every other species that we take down with us. But anyway, and after that, he uh, gives the complete essay, Denial and the Gift of History by Garrett Hardin. But you can go on the link and read that for yourself. And with that, I'm going to wrap up uh, today's Chronicle of the Collapse and uh, figure out what to do on this gloomy day. Maybe go move some more manure over to my garden. Uh, but anyway, if you enjoyed what Rob uh, Milkarski had to share with us, show Rob some love here, guys. Give him a thumbs up, him and uh, Garrett Harden. And if you would like to hear more of this doom and gloom to ruin your day, uh, subscribe to Collapse Chronicles. And I really do want to thank Bonnie uh, for her kind uh, contribution to the Collapse Chronicles PayPal. I have a PayPal and a Patreon account. Anyone who has ever uh, <clears throat> supported whatever this is that I do on YouTube, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Bonnie, for your kind gift and anybody else to support what it is that I do bringing you doom and gloom, trying to educate you about human overshoot and the denial of unpleasant realities which are going to get harder and harder to deny every day. Get out there and in deny all the unpleasant realities you possibly can while you still can. Bye, guys.